Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking a look at the Earthquaker Devices plumes. Before we get too far into the video, if you are enjoying the content, then please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video, it really does help out. Yeah, so today I'm taking a look at the Earthquaker Devices plumes. Now I've had this pedal before and sold it and I've got it again. So while I've got it again, I thought, well, you know, I might as well do a video on it and check out some of the sounds. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a look, show you some of the things I like about it, some of the things I don't like about it, and yeah, just see what kind of sounds we can get out of it. Well, let's see what Earthquaker devices say about the plumes themselves. So the plumes is a unique, all analog approach to a classic tube-like overdrive circuit, offering three different clipping voices, loads of headroom, and almost three-dimensional clarity that will push your amp over the edge. The reimagined tone control is finely tuned to sculpt low end, clear top end, and focus mid range with blooming sustain. So it does get compared to a tube screamer quite a lot, and in fact, Earthquaker say that it is fairly loosely based on a tube screamer, 808 anyway, uh, but with some changes inside the pedal itself. The pedal itself can run in three different modes. So, mode one is a symmetrical LED clipping mode and that will offer you more crunch and compression. Mode two is a no clipping mode, so it's wide open, op amp drive for a clean boost, and actually this is the mode that I found that I like the most. Uh, mode three is asymmetrical silicon diode clipping, so you get more transparency with a loose feel apparently. So my signal chain for the demo then is gonna be my uh, guitar uh, going into the plumes. And then from the plumes, we go into the UAFX uh, Dream 65. From the Dream 65, we're going in stereo into my uh, interface, the UA uh, Vault, and then yeah, into Logic. So look, I'm gonna do some playing. We're gonna tweak all the settings and find some good ones, find some not so good ones and see what you think. Okay, this is the clean sound then, just into the Ruby and into my interface. little bit of reverb as well. Okay, so we'll put the plumes in mode one. Just turn the gain down a bit in the volume. Tweak that output a little bit so I'm not clipping. Let's see what happens when we take the gain up a bit more. Bridge pickup might work for this a bit better. So that's the tone at about halfway, and it's starting to get a bit spiky for me. If I go to about three o'clock, we'll see what that sounds like. Now 
and there's there's loads of level in this as well. So that's only just over what it's only just at ten o'clock. So loads loads of headroom. Let's see what happens if we crank it. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's really pushing that uh, Fender front end, right? So, I mean, obviously it's a UA dream, but really quite nice breakup, actually. For all I said, I uh, wasn't super fond of it. I'm really quite liking the sounds I'm getting right now. Let's try taking the gain right back down again. Yeah, on there, you, you're getting a load of real crystal clear high end coming through. And on the bridge pickup of a telly, it just, you know, you get that bite and grit out of it. It sounds really good, actually. Well, let's check out mode two. So I'm going to put it to about where I found I really liked it earlier on, and that's kind of just on the neck pickup of the telly and just adding a bit of grit to it. So if you listen to it without, and then we'll kick it back in. So it's just barely breaking up, but it's really adding something to that clean tone. Well, let's uh, crank the gain up a bit. See now, it's it, immediately it sounds a bit woolly to me, and I, I feel like I need to knock the reverb a bit back a bit. It's kind of overpowering it now. Definitely got that kind of really almost fuzz like sound in that mode, I think. Again, if we boost the level. Okay, loads of headroom in the pedal. It's really pushing the front end of the amp. Take the treble up a bit, it's a bit woolly.
And I'm just gonna clean it back up again to that sort of place I liked it before. <laughs> Let's check out mode number three. So we immediately lost quite a lot of volume in that mode. And again, here's the clean uh, of just the uh, dream pedals. go really clean. So that's with the gain all the way off and I am on the bridge pickup of the uh, Telecaster. what it sounds like on a neck pickup. Bit more reverb. Yeah, that's nice. Let's go all out then, and take the tone up a bit higher. It's that clean tone again. Well, honestly, I'm, uh, I'm actually quite surprised because, you know, I was playing this through this pedal earlier and I wasn't finding any sounds that I liked. And 
right now I'm really enjoying most of these sounds. I think I'm just used to the, the kind of king of tone sound, the blues breaker based uh, overdrive sound and I, I tend to prefer that, but this has definitely got its uses for sure. So, so yeah, don't, you know, don't write this off. Definitely give it a try. Um, let's see. I'm just going, I'm just going to go back in the middle again and try that sound that I quite liked before. Just one more time. See, I'm finding on this mode, I'm having to pull a tone quite far back. Nice. So wrapping up then after those sound demos, what is my take on the pedal? Well, overall, to be honest, it's not really for me. Like, I get why people like this, right? It's a cool alternative sound to uh, a tube screamer while still kind of keeping that push mid sort of sound. But for me, it's really quite spiky and quite nasally, especially if you've got the tone kind of anywhere past sort of about 10 o'clock. Personally, I prefer like a really kind of smooth overdrive. I really like the King of Tone. I probably mentioned that quite a few times on my channel. So for me, this just doesn't really work. I did find that one setting uh, in the mode two, the clean boost mode, which I do quite like, and I think it really complements a single coil guitar. But overall, it's just not for me. I mean, I'm sure, you know, loads of people will find use for this pedal and it probably suits your style. I understand it's quite good for pushing an already dirty amp to get even more gain or tightening up the low end, etc. a bit like a, a regular tube screamer, but I don't really use pedals in that way. I don't really use a dirty amp, I use a clean amp. So yeah, not for me, but might be for you. Worth checking it out. Well, if you made it all the way to the end, thanks so much for watching. And if you do fancy checking out another Overdrive review, consider watching this Boss SD1 Wazacraft Edition review I put out recently. I really like that pedal. It's still on my board today. Really smooth overdrive, so it really works for me. Okay, that about wraps things up. So thanks again and catch you in the next one. Cheers.